Hello, everyone. We got Power Rider in the chat. We got AJMC. What is up, everyone? Hope you're having excellent holidays. Uh, and you got New Year's Eve coming up soon. So hopefully that should be a lot of fun. Uh, but I got an HLJ box. This is actually probably a good month's worth of stuff. I've been not really waiting to ship, but just kind of waiting until I guess waiting until I had a decent amount of stuff and it's taken a while. So some of this stuff will be a little older. Uh, but I wanted to just go ahead and open it up. So I thought I would do an impromptu stream here, hoping that some people head off and would be around today. <laughs> What's up, Wes? Thanks for joining. Uh, so we'll go through this. It's a moderately sized box. So right here on top, we have the uh, mini plot. Let's see, what does this actually say? Uh, Avataro Gattai Series 01. That can't be right. This isn't 01. Oh, I see what it's saying. It can combine with 01. Yes. So, um, Dawn Brothers was a little weird with the mini plot where the first couple waves were just the altars. And then they actually started doing mini plot of the actual mecha. So, number one was Dawn on a Taijin. And this one is Toradora Gonjin and uh, the Omakoshi Phoenix. So if you have, what they're saying is if you have number one on the back here, you can combine them together. So you can make, um, what are they called? Uh, Toradora Onataijin or Toradora Onataijin Kiwami. Or you can even just make, um, I think you should be able to make, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. The back here just has Toradora on a Taijin and uh, Goldon on a Taijin. But I think you can also do everyone all together, which is Toradora on a Taijin Kiwami. Not pictured here, but I can't imagine why you would not be able to do that. So I'm very behind on these. I haven't even done Dawn on a Taijin yet. Uh, or I think I think I did the first one, which was just the um, uh, Don Momotaro altar. But I didn't do any of the other ones with the other altars. And then there's a premium Bandai altar set coming out as well. That has like, what's in that one? Kyoryuger, um, Kira Major some other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head. So I've got a lot of those that I'm behind on. So apologies. Uh, we've got, this is actually like one of the best packed boxes I've ever seen from HLJ. This is pretty insane. There's hardly any plastic bubble stuff in here. There's like this. That's it. That's quite good for them. I guess everything was really easily packable. It's all just uh, large rectangles. Uh, so here's this. This I've had in there for a while because I think this came out like the day I shipped the last box. But this is the uh, DX uh, drill and propeller raise buckle set. So I'll have to get this out. I've done the two like candy toy and gashapon sets that have had these included, and I've not done those as part of it because I wanted to do the DX set. Uh, on top here, we have a uh, Atomic Heroes Jaw Braver. This is JB08, and this is, what is this guy's name? Carrie Braver? Yeah, just Carrie Braver. He's a truck. He's like a, almost like a moving van kind of a thing, but he's like, <laughs> it's it's got a cat on it for some reason, so I don't know if it's, some kind of, if it's just a cat-related business or if the business just has a cat as their logo. But he's got like big claws, and the uh, jobroid that comes with it has cat ears. So I'm not really sure of the significance of the cat, but they have definitely integrated it into the design of both of the robots. Oh, I lied. We got two more uh, little packing things here. Red Nimpo Entertainment, what is up? Thank you for joining. Hello, hello. 
Uh, next up, we have Soto Chronicle Fies. So let's see, where is my little box cutter? I can open this up and take a look. I'm assuming this is no duplicates. No, let's see. One, two, three, four. So there's an extra set of three and four, which is weird. So this is uh, Kaiza. That's weird. You'd think if they were going to do any duplicates, they would do an extra Fies. But instead, they did an extra Kaiza. What's up, Tower Brony? Hello, and thank you for joining. That's so random. You would you would think if they were going to do a duplicate of the Fies set that they would do two of Fies. But no, you get one Fies, two Kaiza. Uh, who else is in this set? Oh, this is the uh, powered-up form. Fies... Excel form. So we got Excel. So Fies, Fies, Excel, two Kaisers, and then this is just like the accessory pack, I think. Yeah, there's an accessory pack for Fies, and there's an accessory pack for Kaiser. So that's cool. So really, you're only getting three new characters in that. Bumblebee123, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. I like that name. It's fun to say. Bumblebee one two three. All right, let's see. Uh, this one I'm pretty excited about. I'm really behind on these as well, but uh, here is Die Den Die Den which is a bit of a tongue twister to say. Uh, but this is the Denjiman robot SMP, which looks really fun. I think I still have. I think I did Bio Robo. I still have the Sun Vulcan mech. I have this one, and there's another one that I'm behind on. So I have several of these. I have so much mini plot to do. It's it's kind of ridiculous, but they don't stop coming out. So I have to keep buying them, so I don't you know have to track them down later. And I just can't build them all in time. It's a bummer. Do I also happen to be? Lego Ninjago Ultra Combo Mech. It kind of looks like Power Rangers Megazord or Super Sentai Mech. Oh, nice. Now, I don't... I Some Lego, I like kind of the larger creator sets that you can, like, put them together to build, like, a town. Like, the movie theater or the... Uh, there's a bookstore. There's all... Like, they do one a year. They're big ones. I like those. Um, I do some Star Wars Lego. I do some uh, Marvel Lego. Um, but for the most part... It's it's Lego are expensive and with everything else that I buy, it's really hard to keep up with them. So I don't buy that much. I used to buy when Ninjago first happened. I had a couple of those sets and they were pretty cool, but I haven't really paid attention to Ninjago in a while. But I know they do have some robots from time to time. I've really been enjoying my new PC. Hopefully for the new year, I'll get to stream my own content. Nice, very cool. All right, let's see what is next oh here we go we got shoto 10 let's see what's in this bad boy we have looks like um arc one we get two of him then we get who's this dude? Oh, Common Rider Zaya. And then we get um, oh, this is Evel. This is like his crazy monster form towards the end of the show. And then we get the White Wizard, Shiroi Mahotsky. I like this guy a lot. We need more wizard love. There's really not enough wizard. I was really, I really assumed they were going to do wizard in Chronicle just because I feel like it would be easy to go through his four forms really easily because there's not much you have to change. But no such luck. Uh, Nazca Dopant. So this is the like boyfriend of the oldest daughter i think 
and then you get uh, a ghoul for also from wizard and then you get uh mask raid Doe pants. So these are the like foot soldiers from Double. So you get two of these, which is nice because they're army builders. Uh, but then you get two of Nazca and you get two of Arc One. I would have rather had an extra ghoul in there, but I think the loadouts are slightly different. But a couple of a couple of duplicates there I don't really need. Hi, Merlesy. Thanks for joining. Do you happen to have Lego Transformers? That is also one of my favorite Lego sets. I have the Optimus Prime. I haven't put it together yet, but I do have it. I, I got it for my birthday. Got any more plans for future Twitch streams? Yeah, Wes, I don't know. I should get back to Twitch. Um, yeah, I just kind of got away from it. Um, but maybe. Maybe in the future. Wizard 10th Anniversary Figure Art. Nice. Yeah, I always like Wizard's design. Wizard doesn't get a lot of love, but I always thought it was cool. All right, this is a Diaclone Tactical Carrier Expansion Set. So last time I got the Tactical Carrier, this is the expansion set where it's like an extra trailer uh, so you can store things in it, but it can also connect to the other one. And I think it comes with a guy on a bike, yeah. But you can like store the other suits in here and then connect it to the other one, which is cool. I think you get two. I think you get yeah two, and then you get uh, one figure and a bike. But yeah, Diaclone's fun. It's pricey, which is why I usually just stick to the less expensive sets. I don't have a lot of the huge big ones because they are pricey. Hey, Maxwell, thanks for joining. I'm happy you could make it. All right, I only have a few other things in here. Uh, so this is the DXBX, which is the uh, main weapon for um, the beat driver, or the, the beat driver, the beat raise buckle, which is used by Nago primarily. This is tinier than I expected. This is going to be like a really baby axe, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not looking forward. I mean, I wish it was bigger, but it looks fun still. Honestly, it just it looks like a Guitar Hero controller to me. But this, hopefully, this will be fun. Oh, it comes with batteries, so you don't have to provide your own. That's always nice. Do I play Minecraft? Um, no, I just never really got into Minecraft. All right, so we have a couple of Decker things here. So this is our second binder. So we did get one binder already, but this one does come with cards. This is the Ultraman Decker Flash type. But I guess it's a special. It's got a new like design on it. And then one of the one of the cards actually just looks like this binder. <laughs> the cover of the binder. And this one says uh, Ultraman Decker dynamic type so i guess they're just alternate cards of you already have this one says ultraman uh, dyna flash type so they're i guess they're cards you may already have but they're new designs if you can see them there and it says they should work with the d flasher so got another binder to organize the cards i have to do that i have to go through and put them in the binder Speaking of, we have uh, two more sets here. Oh, wait, is this three more sets? These are weird. These are like in a... Oh, wow. <laughs> so they changed how they package these. Uh, they used to be in like a plastic, almost like a bubble on card where these were raised. And now they're just in a piece of cardboard in a plastic bag. Like there is no raised thing to this. This is, I guess, I, I guess they're just cheaping out of the packaging. I mean, you don't really need the packaging to use. They're just cards. I don't think there's any danger. But that's weird. That must have started with six. This is six, seven, and eight. So this is the Ultra Dimension card, zero, six. Um, 
glitter, uh, trigger, eternity set. So this looks like you got glitter, <laughs> glitter, trigger, eternity. Uh, it looks like you have dark trigger, and then you have uh, trigger, truth, and then you have the three, um, the three bad guys there. That's six. Seven is the uh, Ultra Dimension card. Zero seven Ultraman Dyna set. So it looks like you get Dyna's three forms. You also get uh, Ultimate Zero. You get uh, Sphere ne Neo Megas. Neo Megas. And then you get uh, Sphere Geomon. Geomons? Geomos. I don't know. But it's mostly Dyna. The top three there. And then set eight is the Ultra Dimension card Ultraman Tiga set. Yeah, so you get Tiga's three forms. You get Glitter Tiga. You get, uh, is this Evil Tiga? E -O -L -O, yeah, I think that's Evil Tiga. And then you get Moe's, hold on. Mazas, Moza Sphere, Saurusu. I don't know. I'm bad at reading katakana on the fly. But anyway, so that's three new Ultra Dimension card sets, and I think the new packaging is kind of hysterical. But I mean, maybe I could just throw it away then, because when it's like plastic, I feel compelled to keep it. But these are just like little cardboard inserts, so I don't care as much. The axe may be small, but it has some rock and music. Nice. The beat axe is such a weird weapon. What do you think of the first impressions of Super Sentai? It looks a bit interesting. Yeah, uh, King Oger looks cool. I don't know. The suits I keep going back and forth on. I don't like love or hate them. I think they're fine. Um, I don't know. I think I have to see them more like in action. Just the few pictures we've gotten I don't think are really enough. Uh, but that is already the end of this box. That was loud. Apologies. Uh, but the last thing in there was uh, Geet's ID3. So we have some Soto stuff to do. And I've been trying to keep up with the Geet's Soto so far this year, and I've been pretty good. I know four just came out. Um, but that came out after I shipped this box. So this gives us um, pretty much everyone using the fever slot buckle. So you have Geats, Nago. What is this one? Oh, I see. Wait, let me look at this again. So yeah, so the first one is... It's Geats using the fever slot buckle. And then what is the second one? Uh, this is all stuff. Oh, this is, okay, this is just Nago using the beat buckle. So you get uh, Nago with beat on top, then you get Nago with beat on the bottom. But you get two of Naga with beat on top. And then you get... Um... Oh, I was wrong. I'm thinking of four. Four is all of them using the fever slot. This one is just Geats using it. All right. This does not want to go back in the box or something. There it goes. It was like stuck on the flap on the inside. So you get Geats using Fever Slot with Magnum. You get Nago with Beat on top, then Nago with Beat on the bottom. Then you get Punk Jack using Monster uh, on top. And then you get, I believe this is uh, Punk Jack with Monster on the bottom. Yeah. 
And then there's also um, these two end boxes where you can basically make like an entry form for Punk Jack or if you want to use it for Depan or whatever the polar bear guy's name was. <laughs> so I will probably... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who I'll use this as. Might just switch them out, just keep the heads handy, and because they never really show up at the same time. But I'll have to get started on that because I do really like that this year. The Soto has been a lot of fun with all the mixing and matching capabilities. I'm excited for King Oger, but not excited for the amount of toy listings. Yeah, the uh, the Mecha are going to be out of control this year. I think it's nice that apparently they're not going to have like a gimmick. Like, there won't be any gears or anything like that this year. But uh, the Mecha is almost like the gimmick this year. There's just so many Mecha. But I, I'm hoping that they won't be super expensive. We'll see how it goes. And it's also going to depend on how strong the Yen is at the time. <laughs> uh, last time we had capes on suits was Lupin Ranger. Yeah, that's true. A bug-related Zord. I mean, right away I think of uh, Hurricaneger. But I'm sure we've probably had one since then. I just, that's the first one that I think of. Yeah, Max, well, I agree. Soto line, it's impressive because you can switch around so many different things, which is really cool. Oh, right. Yeah. Go Buster had, had Beatles. Of course. How can we forget Go Busters? I used to make a Lego Super Sentai Mecha based on insects, but now for 2023, it will be come out. <laughs> that's right. You'll have an actual. Real life bug mecha. Yeah, it looks neat too because the for I think the first one has like ten, and a lot of them are just small, almost like armor bits, like you know, belt or chest plate or sword, or like the, the hands. So like a lot of them are smaller. Uh, the main one I think is like almost the whole upper body, and then I know that there's two, one for each leg, maybe something in the middle. I'm not sure. I know the dragonfly goes on the back. So looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Should be fun. Um, but yeah, so I got a lot of Decker stuff to get through, and I still have the Shield Caliber, and I think I have another card set still. I think maybe set five. So probably have four card sets all in all. So I'll have to start getting through some of the uh, Decker stuff. Maybe I'll do the Axe today, like later on tonight. Um, just because that looks like it'd be fun. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, not too much in the way of Geats. Just this one buckle set and the axe. And then I think I still have the, the Ninja Dueler because I, I put that off to the side somewhere and forgot about it completely. <laughs> so I still, I just found it yesterday. I was like, oh yeah, the Ninja Dueler. I have to do this. Um, so I probably have like five Geats things all told. And then I probably have like seven or eight Decker things. Um, and I got to get back to uh, Job Raver. What's up, Adam Prime? Uh, yeah, really, you, you missed the whole thing, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I can go through it again pretty quick because there wasn't a ton. So to recap for anyone coming in late, got the Drill and Propeller DX set. Uh, got this Job Braver of the kitty cat truck it's the thing uh i got a bunch of decker card sets and a decker card binder i got the beat axe and then i got a lot of mini plus stuff so i got um let me let me look at this again. What is this? Die Den, Dengen. That's always going to be hard for me to say. Die Dengen. Uh, Shoto O10. Uh, Soto Chronicle Fies. I guess I don't really have to show you these boxes. They're not very exciting. Um, Geats ID3. And I'll show you this box because it is exciting. This is the uh, second Mecha. Um, Mini Plus set for Toradora, Gonjin, and Kiwami. No. Toradora, Gonjin, and Omakoshi Phoenix. You can make Toradora on a Taijin Kiwami. Oh, and I got this uh, expansion set for Daiklin. 
So that should be everything. Um, you haven't had any bug related in Sentai for the past 10 years. I mean, yeah, they don't, I feel like they don't do bugs a ton. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, they don't seem to. Stocking up on Geet Soto. Very nice. Very nice. I have a self-invented Power Rangers team in my head, and that is the theme of MLP and other team of Lego Bionicle. Okay. Get some crossovers there. Um, yeah. How's everyone? Did everyone have good holidays? Is everyone ready for 2023? It'll be here before we know it at this point. I mean, it's only two days away, really. Three days away, technically. Waiting to ship ID2 and 4 just finished 1 and 3. Nice. Yeah, I did 1 and 2. Um, I'll have to get started on 3. Um, and 4 just came out. MLP. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. MLP, My Little Pony, I knew that. Are you even making your own ID cores? That's cool. Yeah, that's kind of the nice thing, like... At first, we were all kind of like, well, it's a bummer that they don't really make any individual noises, but also because they don't make any individual noises, it's kind of neat that you can make your own custom one, you know, for yourself, and you could still use it with the driver, and it'll function like any of the others, so it's it's kind of like taking a, a negative and turning it into a positive. I got Power Lance and 20th double driver. Oh, very nice. That's cool. Is that your Christmas gifts? That's pretty good haul. That's pretty good. I just got um, I got one massive Lego set. I got uh, one of those modular ones I was talking about at the bookstore. It was one of the ones I didn't have yet, so I think I'm pretty caught up on those. Although I th they'll probably do another one as soon as January hits. <laughs> Santa hooked it up. Nice. Glad to hear it. Um, yeah. So I don't know. What are you guys? Are you guys still interested in like Decker stuff as far as reviews go? I usually try to do Geet stuff as soon as it comes in, just because like one, I'm having fun with it, and also I feel like that's what you guys want to see the most. But um, are you still into the Decker stuff? I do have a little bit of Decker stuff to get caught up on. Mass brain system, yo, you getting that Jamato buckle? I am. I have it ordered. I, I don't know exactly when it comes out, but I do have it ordered somewhere. <sighs> yeah, the custom ID cores. I'm I'm thinking about you know having someone make one for me. I uh, I don't have the the ability to do it myself <laughs> by any by any means. Thrilling 30 Springer and Don Dragoku Alter. Nice. Thrilling 30 Springer. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. He was pretty good. Oh, Don Dragoku Alter. Yes. What animal would I pick? Who? I usually like white tigers, but I think they just used that in the show. They just assigned that to somebody, so... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Uh, for Christmas, hold on. Just got my Ninjark sword. Venti's voice actor is so... <laughs> the Ninjark sword is a lot of fun. I like that one a lot. How much of a backlog of Decker do you have in terms of the cards, like the apparel or wafer ones? No, Power Rider, I never got any of those. I wanted to get them, but the problem is I don't have a great way to get them, obviously. And whenever I would go on Mandarake or something like that, they would sell the cards singly. And I don't know, like, I'd have to do some research to figure out, like, the weight, like, in the, the candy ones, like, what is a set of those. Um, and they're just not super readily available. Like, even on Mandarake, when they have single cards, it's just, like, one here, one there. There's not a lot of them, so... I, I don't think I'm really going to be able to get those. I don't know. Um, for Decker, I have... I think I still have set five, and then I have the three that I just got today. And I have the shield caliber and a couple of the figures, I think. 
I think I have a dynamic type ultra action figure. And then maybe two other ones, maybe Regulos. I don't remember. What do I think of the Vision Driver? I think it looks really cool. <laughs> it's going to be pricey, uh, but it looks like it can do a lot. It's kind of like this year's Demons Driver, so it should be fun. I hope it's fun. I try and stay away from the Ultraman topic because if I watch it, then I want the stuff, but it's hard for me to stay away from the theme. <laughs> so I see you're trying to stay away from it so you don't crave it. I can understand that. I can understand that. Um... Yeah, they do have some good songs, though. I still think Trigger's theme is still one of my all-time favorite Ultra songs. I love that song so much. Um, yeah, so... I was trying to think if there's anything else. For the most part, for reviews and stuff, I have Ultraman, a little bit of Geats, a little bit of a... I'm pretty current on my Transformers, but I have a few like older ones that I'll still probably do when I'm out of current stuff. And a couple of job bravers. I think that's it. I got a little I got a little bit caught up. I was really, really behind at one point. And I just had to let some stuff go. I hope all four main characters of Transformers Rescue Bots come in Transformers like Yeah, they're doing the medic guy, right? I don't know much about Rescue Bots. But I know they're doing the medic, and it looks good. It's like a repainted crankcase. It looks pretty good. Uh, custom core ID gonna have to third party one for future cosplay. Yeah, if I, I that's what I would have to get someone to make one for me. I probably would have picked up Decker if the cards weren't cardboard. Uh, feels backwards from what they're. Yeah, I agree. They because I'll tell you, when I first got the the sword, the dual sword. And you have to run the card through it. I couldn't find like the right way to do that. And there was like a piece inside that I thought I had to go through. Then that was the reader. It's like a, some some kind of solid piece in there. And by trying to run through that, it really like messed up the whole edge of the card. And it turns out that that's just some inner working of the sword. And I didn't have to go through that piece. But it was it was really hard to figure out at first. And uh, it really messed up. I think it's like. I think it's just trigger um, multi-type. Like that card, the edge is all kind of messed up. And it comes with the sword. So it's like I can't just go buy another one. I mean, I guess I could, but I have to buy a whole other sword. So I agree. They should just be that same kind of plastic that they use for Decker, or Decker for Decade and stuff like that. I don't know why they're, they're not that. I mean, they have a little bit of like a sheen to them and a little bit of a coating or something, but... Yeah, I don't know why they're cardboard. And I feel like you could still use them for the game. I mean, is it the arcade game you're talking about? Is that what they don't work for if they're not cardboard? Because I feel like they probably could still work and it would be fine. But what do I know? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. Pause. Apologies, I had to sneeze and I figured you didn't want to see that. <laughs> so, not a problem with the stream. Just had to go dark for a second there. Um, but yeah, like I said, this was probably going to be a quick one just because I wanted to do the unboxing and then I'll, I'll review something from the box tonight and put that up as like my daily video. Uh, but yeah, so I hope everyone is having a good holiday, uh, holiday season, New Year's Eve. Hope you have some good fun plans. Be safe and um, yeah. Oh, another thing. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the channel Nerdzoic, but he does a fun thing where he does the nerdy awards every year. Um, and he does, you know, not like best figure for different categories, like best Star Wars, best Ninja Turtles, things like that. Um, and then he asked me to be a presenter on it, which was a lot of fun. So head over to his channel. Uh, it's Nerdzoic, N-E-R-D-Z-O-I-C. I think I spell it, but if you type it, you'll find it if you search them. Uh, so yeah, check me out on that. That premiered last night, so hopefully everyone enjoys that. It was a lot of fun, um, and I think the show turned out really, really great. He does a lot of great work on it, so be sure to check that out. And then obviously we have uh, Geek Each Week tomorrow, 
at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. So check that out. And then I hope everyone has a wonderful New Year's Eve. Barcode at the top. I guess the machines can't read plastic. Oh, bummer. But yeah, I wish they were, I wish they were plastic too. Comrades of my own in the name is Bernie Tower. Oh, cool. Very nice. You're going to draw designs for them? That's pretty cool. Getting my movie Geats and DX set. Yes, Sokka. I have mine as well. The uh, the movie builder. What is that guy's name? Seeker. Um, mine's coming from Amazon Japan. I'm hoping that'll be here tomorrow as well. Any spoilers I can give? Uh, well, Josh won't be there. <laughs> so I, hopefully that doesn't color you guys from showing up. But there's a spoiler for Geek Each Week. Uh, no Josh this week. He's got a family party or something. So um, Otherwise, uh, you know, pretty much the usual fun. We'll, we'll watch. Uh, well, we won't watch anything. We'll talk about the news. We'll play a game. Got to bring BMX back and watch BMX again. That was fun. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, this was just a quick little one to show off some of the stuff. <laughs> no lightning strikes. I guess not. Yeah, lightning will strike at, at most one time. At most one time. Uh, but yeah, definitely, like I said, go watch the Nerdy Awards from last night. Definitely check us out tomorrow on Geek Each Week. Uh, just search Geek Each Week on uh, YouTube. You'll find it. And I'll see you tomorrow night. So have an excellent holiday season, everyone. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow on Geek Each Week. So have a good one. Have a good rest of your day. Hey, hey, Orville. Sorry, jumping in right at the end. But I wanted to shout you out. Have a good one, everybody.